Hello Stampers! I wanted to share with you a baby card that I am creating using the new stamp set called Something for Baby. It's so cute and the thing that makes it even more adorable is that it has matching framelits so that's always fun. Um, this is one of my super quick cards so quick and cute is the object of today's card. I know that when it comes to baby showers sometimes you're you mean to go to the store or you mean to make a card or something and it just doesn't happen so quick and cute will come in pretty handy. This sentiment is also from a new stamp set that's coming out in the new catalog and it's called Num Num. That's the stamp we're going to use today. Just a little something for you. So we're going to stamp our sentiment onto, this is very vanilla. Using Very Vanilla and Blushing Bride for this one. And I also did a boy version using Pistachio and Very Vanilla. It's super cute too. I'll show you that in a minute. Alright, so we have that done. I'm going to rough up the edges a little on this. Believe it or not. One little addition and this card is ready to assemble and run out the door to a baby shower. Alright, so that part is done. No more stamping. We're done with that. Now we're just going to start putting it together. And again, this is Blushing Bride. And this is a teeny tiny piece of Blushing Bride DSP that comes in the stack and it's one inch by um, three quarters of an inch. And we're just gonna use the hexagon punch to give it a little banner in. Also gonna use the new Lullaby Designer Series paper, which I love, it's so adorable. This piece happens to be my favorite, this fake brown sugar striped piece. And these two we're just going to staple here at the corner. And then this card is done. Once you have a staple that acts up, then you have to do it one more time. Try that again. Ah, yes, perfect. And then I made a note card, and this is very vanilla, and it's sized um, five inches by three and a half. So we'll just put that on. And this card is done. And if you wanted to get a little bit more fancy, you could do a custom envelope. So this is that same DSP. And then this is ready for my new mommy. And I told you I made a boy version, so let me show you that. So this one is the pistachio. And I wanted to show you one trick. This thick baker's twine is so cute, but sometimes when you're tying bows with it, it can be a little tricky if you try to tie it on the card. So I found that if you tie the bow separately and then just use a glue dot to attach it, it saves you a headache, possibly. So this card is a little teeny tiny bit more stepped up since I added the baker's twine. And this is the envelope that matches with this one. show you the girl version and I actually have one that's even more stepped up if you had some extra time or you had someone really special to impress with this one so this one you actually had to bust out your sewing machine which don't be scared if you haven't sewn on cards it's so so easy just try it um, on my machine there's no special settings it's just on basic stitch um, and I just zip it through and it comes out super cute. So this one is using the framelits that I told you match with the stamp set. Um, this is actually the gold baker's twine 
and you can just uh, cut your piece and then pull the gold part right out and then you have this cute vanilla colored baker's twine which I love I'm kind of addicted to that as well and then this um, background piece is the new craft colored cardstock which is so adorable I thought it'd be really similar to crumb cake but when you put them together you can see they're so so different so you absolutely need to have that in your collection of cardstock and that's all I have for you today and I hope you enjoyed this quick video and you give these baby cards a try and if you have any questions or comments or anything, I'd love to hear them. So you can leave them here as a comment or you can head over to my blog and leave them there. Have a great day.